Hi, my name is Ken Hamilton, CEO of Total Tech, and I'd like to welcome you to Have You Configured It Out? Our ongoing video series highlighting key technology partners and their product offerings. In this segment, we will further highlight award-winning Sophos, a security software company distinguished for their ability to protect organizations of all sizes from today's most advanced cyber threats. In this particular video, we will highlight Sophos Mobile Device Management, MDM. Many thanks to all of you for watching and listening, and please don't forget to subscribe, sign up for our notifications, and please smash that like button. If you have any ideas for future videos you would like to see, please let me know in the comments section below. We read all your messages. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hey everyone, Derek Snyder, engineer from Sophos here, coming at you again uh, as part of our partnership with Total Tech, uh, one of our great Sophos partners here for many years. Uh, today, we're going to be uh, talking about Sophos Mobile Device Management. So if you've been joining us as part of this Have You Configured It Out series, you've seen us cover endpoint protection and server protection, uh, EDR. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about mobile device management. And uh, I'm going to give you, mobile device management can do a ton of stuff. So I'm going to give you a nice little overview of what it's capable of. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions or you want to do a, a more in-depth demo uh, or anything like that, reach out to Total Tech and we can set that up for you, no problem. Uh, as I jump in, uh, I wanna do something I always do, which is share just one slide at the beginning, uh, which will be uh, just an overview and a reminder for you, uh, because I always find a lot of people tend to forget where Sophos plays and what all we do, because we do cover uh, a huge uh, kind of from end to end security, right? So people kind of forget that we're going from the endpoint all the way to uh, to the edge uh, on the network side. And in fact, beyond that nowadays with uh, public cloud as well. So um, I'm not gonna read all these off to you, but that Sofo Central, the big white dot in the middle is our cloud managed platform. Keep that in mind, all these products will be managed within one platform, within one console. InterceptX is our flagship next gen endpoint protection. Uh, XG firewall is our next gen firewall. And then going around that circle again, I'm not going to read them all, but public cloud solutions, mail solutions, wireless access points from Sophos. And today we're going to focus on that Sophos mobile device management. So I'm going to exit out of that slide for you uh, and jump right into the mobile device management piece. So as I come over to mobile here, the first thing you're going to see when that loads is a dashboard. So that dashboard is going to give you a, a widget with uh, common tasks available to you or uh, data at a glance, right? Um, and you can click through these if it's reporting. I can click through that and go right into some, some reporting or device views there. Um, but just know that it's all widget based. You can customize this page to your liking by adding all these different widgets and moving uh, those widgets around to whatever matches kind of with your daily workflow and how you like to, to work within the mobile device management piece. Um, you're gonna notice four main sections of mobile device management. So you're gonna have inform. If you look in the top left here, you're gonna have manage, you're gonna have configure, and then you're going to have settings, right? So within inform, of course, you got the dashboard, you got some reporting. Underneath management, you have devices, which I will jump into the devices here in just a minute. Uh, device groups, so I wanted to point out right now, so pretty cool with device groups, allows you to go ahead and create a device group and assign it separate uh, policies, whether it's corporate devices or personal devices, uh, so that you can uh, assign specific policies based on different groups within your organization. So in this example, maybe marketing uh, has need for a different sort of uh, set of compliance policies with mobile device management. You can go ahead and do that here with device groups. And I'm also gonna look at the people here in a minute. I'll show you that as we circle back around. Under configuration, what you're going to notice is policies. And within those policies, I'll cover that here. There's a lot of things we can do within policies. Uh, task bundles here on the left. So task bundles allow you to bundle together policies and applications uh, all in one sort of deployment uh, task or job, if you will, right? Kind of combining multiple things and pushing that out to devices. 
You're going to have a set of compliance policies that I'll cover here in just a minute. And then finally, under setup, there's a whole bunch of stuff under setup. So uh, Apple one is the most common, I would say, that I come across. So you will have to go ahead and set up an APN certificate with Apple. Very easy to do. Uh, we can walk you right through it with a, a wizard, essentially. Um, and then you upload uh, that file that gets created here and you're good to go, right? That's required by Apple. All, of course, we support Apple VPP, the, the DEP. Um, same thing with Android. We support uh, Android uh, Enterprise as well. Uh, so that's just kind of a quick overview there as well with the mobile device management. Let me jump into a couple of interesting pieces here. What all can mobile device management from Sophos do? Well, it can do a lot. You can see the operating systems that we support, Android, iOS, Mac OS, a little bit of Windows, Windows Mobile, which I think is going away, but uh, still in there, and Chrome OS as well. Um, so if I just give, uh, again, mobile device management do a lot of things. So I just wanted to give a couple overviews here. So if we look at a device policy, and I can just call this a test policy for now, but you can see all the various things you can do with mobile device management, whether it's password policies. So you can set the password policies for that device and actually enforce them. Um, restrictions is huge. So there's a ton of stuff in here for restrictions. So if we scroll down, pretty much anything that device can do, uh, you can choose to control with a, a restriction policy. So if you scroll down, you can see, right, I wanna, I wanna allow or limit uh, certain certain functions or features of that mobile device, uh, I can do that, right? Like I said, ton of stuff you can do with mobile. So setting up restrictions, password policies, automatically configuring the exchange accounts. So if you're gonna utilize uh, email on the mobile device, right? You can see you can pop in the placeholders here um, and then you just have your exchange information or O365, whatever it is, and it will go ahead and configure their email for them uh, when they get the policy for this. Uh, so that's just a quick overview there of policies. Um, again, it can do a whole lot, a whole lot of stuff here, and you can see uh, more more policies here uh, as well. Um, task bundles, again, task bundle allows you to go ahead and create uh, various enrollment uh, tasks within a bundle. So I can add applications, I can add policies all into one task bundle. Uh, and accomplish those all at once when I push those out. Applications allow you to assign applications to the device. So I could go ahead and do it via the uh, iOS link. So the Apple store link, um, or you can also push it out as a package as an enterprise managed application for you. Uh, you can do it that way as well. And compliance policies. So compliance policies is, is pretty neat. And this kind of leads into something I'm gonna talk about here in just a minute, which will be uh, integration with uh, Microsoft Intune actually, and some compliance there. But uh, let me just, I'll click on default just to kind of show you. Uh, whether it's Android, iOS, any of the platforms we support, um, there's various compliance policies. So I could say, don't allow jailbreaking, right? That could be a security issue. Don't allow jailbreaking or require certain apps or forbid certain apps, right? Um, and you can see there's a number of different compliance policies you can set up. And then the question is, what do you wanna do if that compliance policy is violated? And these things can be automated. So if you wanted, you could go ahead and have uh, the uh, a task bundle transferred when it's violated. What would that task bundle do? Well, it might uh, it might simply unenroll the device might be one, right? To protect uh, the corporate data, but it could be uninstalling an application, anything you can do with a bundle, uh, applying a different policy. So maybe they don't have as much access, right? Or unenrolling them. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of things with a task bundle if a compliance policy is violated. Um, on top of that, you can also lock a container. Of course, you can get alerted. So this container lock, um, this actually applies to BYOD devices. Uh, if you would like to manage BYOD devices, uh, we can support that with something called uh, containerization. So what we're doing is uh, essentially think of it as segmenting off corporate data and personal data. So if it's a BYOD device uh, for an end user, 
Um, we don't see their personal pictures. You wouldn't see them. We don't see the apps installed. Um, we would just see what you're managing. So any enterprise apps that you're managing, uh, any email, uh, any, of, any of that corporate data. And if a compliance policy is violated, you could have that container locked. So they wouldn't be able to access the corporate data when they're out of compliance. Um, also, you can uh, when you wipe the device, uh, when you're in a BYOD mode or personal mode, um, it won't touch any of their personal stuff. It'll just wipe the corporate data from the device. So it makes it very convenient and nice and secure at the same time for uh, BYOD devices, okay? So that is uh, compliance policies. Let me give you a quick view of what a device looks like within here. Um, so if I take a look at, Let's see, I'll take a look at this. Um, this happens to be an iPad here, um, but you can see the state of the device, right? Um, is it in compliance or not? Um, is it, uh, has it been synchronizing? Um, and then you can see any actions available for that device based on the current status. So you're gonna notice some of the common questions I get. Um, can, we, can we locate a device? Well, you can, there's a find button, right? Um, so I can click find, takes just a couple minutes. It'll show me on a map where that device is located. I can lock a device, right? So I could lock it if it was lost. I could send a message to that screen that says, please call this number or return it here, whatever it might be. Um, I could reset passwords. Um, I could also go ahead and wipe the device. So wipe, lock, locate. Those are huge uh, questions and features that we get quite often. Are you able to wipe, lock, locate, right? Those are kind of the most common MDM features that people are looking for. Um, configure email, uh, wipe, lock, and locate, right? What else can we do there? Um, so within uh, mobile device managers, as I said, there's a lot you can do. Um, I do get this question a lot though, and we're talking to people about mobile mobile device management, they asked, Eric, I already have Microsoft Intune that I'm using for my mobile device management. Um, and I'm not gonna be switching that license anytime soon. And we can let them know, that's great. You have Microsoft Intune, no problem. Uh, did you know that you can layer Sophos on top of that and get some great security features that Microsoft themselves on their own website talks about these connectors with Sophos and how to enable this for Intercept X for mobile or a mobile threat defense. Right, and that's part of the Intune setup. So within um, the Microsoft setup section here, um, there will be some, actually it's under the uh, SOFO setup here. You'll see M Intune MTD um, and uh, what you do with that threat defense, that mobile threat defense is you first bind this to your Intune account. So let me show you because I don't have all that set up as far as an Intune account and Azure AD and a few of those things. Let me share my screen. I'm sorry, let me share uh, the deck again and just show you a couple pieces of what that looks like and what it can really do for you. What sort of advantages do you get with that, right? So mobile threat defense, MTD, if you see that reference, sometimes we'll reference it as intercept X for mobile. But mobile threat defense, what is it? What do you get from it, right? So it allows, um, it's in conjunction with Intune, right? Um, and so Intune has a set of device compliance policies that also includes a rule for the Microsoft or for the uh, Sophos mobile threat defense. So based on the risk assessment uh, from Sophos, and that means basically based on the health of that device, uh, the or or the risk of the threat that's currently on that device. Intune can go ahead and enforce uh, some policies there. So Intune can evaluate that policy. And if it's found to be not compliant, the users won't be able to access certain corporate resources, right? Um, also, they'll get certain guidance from Sophos, letting them know uh, what they need to do to resolve their issue. It may be uninstalling a risky app, say on an Android device, some malware within that app, something like that. So those are some of the advantages. It allows you to do some, some user-based compliance policies that you otherwise wouldn't get with the Intune mobile device management. Of course, you need, uh, you need Intune subscription, uh, Microsoft, you know, your login for Azure AD and a couple of those things. Um, some documentation links, you can take a look at these later, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, so first you're gonna log into Central. You're going to go to that bind section that I showed you, and you're going to go ahead and bind that account uh, to your uh, Intune account. It's going to ask you to log in to your Microsoft account there. You 
get that granted. And then you can decide if devices are going to be corporate or personal devices, which groups they should be a member of. Uh, once you have that saved, then you're going to go back over to Intune and you're going to enable a Sophos connector in Intune. Now, I'm not including all those steps in here. We do have those available and so does Microsoft, okay? But those are out in, in the uh, Microsoft world, so I wasn't going to go through all those steps here. Um, hopefully, you're familiar with those in the Intune console. Um, next, you can deploy the Sophos security app to your Intune devices. Um, and then you can go ahead and define those security policies for Sophos Mobile Security. And let me show you, let me close out with this and show you what does it actually do for you? What does it look like? So within Intune here, and here's a, a piece of that, um, here's an Android device that we have enrolled in Intune. You can see right over here, the green compliant checkbox. So that is compliance. Within the Sophos device, you're gonna see the health status there under status, that's also compliance. And then you're gonna see on the device itself within the Sophos mobile security app, you're gonna see that it's compliant. So now uh, let's go ahead and install some malware. So here's a risky application that we're gonna go ahead and install on our Android device. You're gonna notice it says threat or PUA detected right there in the middle. So one of our test files here, kind of like an ICAR file, uh, but it's detecting that as, as malware, right? So there's the malware detected. Now we're gonna see this device is no longer compliant when we're looking at the Sophos mobile security app on the device. You're gonna see in Sophos Central, it's not compliant. The portal shows it not compliant. Uh, right here, you're gonna see, here's the Sophos portal. You're gonna see health status, right? It's in a red state, not compliant. Details of the compliance, what malware was installed. You notice it's Android I iCar. It's an iCar file in this case, just a test file. But um, so some information on the uh, the detection there and the application that we detected as, as malware. You're gonna see in your Intune uh, mobile device management console, not compliance. So what does this actually look like or what does it do? So on the left, you can see it's gonna block when malicious apps are detected. So it's kind of acting like uh, like a knack, if you will, right? But it's in the middle and it's it's preventing access. In this case, you'll notice the, the pink X's there, stopping email access, locking managed apps. So we're gonna go ahead um, and take care of that. Um, you're gonna get all the alerting. Once access is granted, uh, or once remediation happens, access will be granted. And then they will have access again to email or managed apps, whatever it happens to be. Um, so that's just a quick overview kind of, of what that looks like, what it can do for you. Um, so if you are using Microsoft Intune, um, we can also layer on top of, provide you some, some great mobile threat uh, detection as well. So from there, go ahead, uh, configure Intune rules, uh, get those compliance policies uh, in place, stay safe. Let us know if you have any questions, reach out to Total Tech, and we are happy again to be bringing you this uh, series. And thank you for joining us once again.